Hello my love, I hope everyone is having happy holidays and they are staying safe and healthy that's the most important thing talking about health I did this video already three years ago but in Spanish and I got so many questions I thought it was very important to do in English too the reason why I'm doing this is because I know many girls before going through surgery do a research and it's not only the final look it is also what is gonna affect you in the future. I want to take advantage of this opportunity to show you the, my yearly because this is a gift from Sinophore. I like how different it is. And then I also got these bracelets. So far they're doing very well, they feel sturdy, they feel like good quality and the prices are actually very affordable. Uh, they gave me a discount code i'm gonna leave it in the description below if you want to use it they also got me this box how cute it is i love the size because i could take it with me on the trips and then get on the other side more storage this is so cute i love this box it was a gift and thank you cinephore for the gift i really like it I got the surgery a long time ago. I think I was 18 years old. I got them Christmas. No, Christmas, tw December 26th I got them. I got it also with my sister. You know, actually getting breast implants wasn't something I always thought about. I remember at that time having big breasts, it was very popular. My breasts, they were, they had a beautiful size. I had like a cup B. I wish somebody would have convinced me <laughs> not to do it. Would have like shown me how would it be if I didn't do it, I don't know. We decided to do it together. We went through the whole process together. Uh, my mom and my grandma, they, they had the doctor, friend of the family, so we went to visit the doctor. He examined our body, our height, weight. Uh, the shape of our body. You have to do a few exams like uh, x-rays, just normal routine exams before surgery. We got the prosthesis separate. But we went for silicone, the doctor recommended silicone, he said that was the one that lasts longer. We got the surgery. Very early in the morning we both got the surgery through our armpit. We didn't want it to like scars in our breast but you know what i think that's what i regret the most i realized that the shape that you get when you do it like that is different and it's not very natural looking and you can also do it under your breast like here a small line or through your nipple after the surgery i woke i woke up from the anesthesia I was feeling well. The only thing that hurt a lot was my chest. All this area hurt a lot. It was like a, it felt like I had something very, very heavy in my chest. We, we went to home the same day. The three first days are the hardest ones. Those are the ones that are harder to sleep, to move, to walk. Our implants were behind the muscle. That give it a more natural shape. It's better. After a few days you are you can stand up, move, do your, your regular things. What you cannot do is to work out and sleep on your side or on your stomach. For that, you have to wait. You can start working out soft after a month. Right now I sleep however I want on my stomach, on the side, and nothing bothers me. I started feeling very, very conscious of everything I will do to my body. I just don't want to have any implants inside my body that's all i just started embracing the whole natural body idea and i just wanted that i can't wait to get them removed my husband is in front of me he obviously loved them <laughs> <laughs> obviously guys like the bigger the better but it's extremely important that you have a good posture because if you are hunched like this 
then their their breast goes down even if you have implants if you don't have implants is extremely important a good posture and something that helps to have a good posture is to work out your back to work out your whole body do yoga pilates all of that helps a lot you can keep your implants forever if they are in good condition i have a few screenshots from questions i got in my previous video breeze and i ask how do you feel if you have symptoms or secondary effects because the implants so i feel perfect i don't know because the symptoms from the breast implant illness are very common so i wouldn't know if it's because the implants or something else but i feel good i don't have any issues with my breast any secondary effects i thank god all my surgery went perfectly blanca padilla asked if i slept on my stomach after you know if nowadays i slept on my stomach and she's worried because she wants to get the surgery but she she does she doesn't like to sleep uh, on her back so yeah i actually some days i sleep on my stomach um, but I'd rather to sleep on my back just for it's better for your stomach it's better for your skin somebody asked about the total cost of the surgery well that was so long ago and it was in Venezuela the economy there has changed a lot so I couldn't tell exactly how much it was but I know that nowadays that surgery goes for around $10,000 at least here in the United States. Michelle Triano asks if she can give um, milk uh, to her baby after getting the augmentation and yes, my sister has her kids and she fed them so you can do it. So somebody asked me how tall I was. I'm 5'3 and I have uh, 355 on each side. Susie Jimenez asked me if I still have sens sensibility. That's a great question. Yes, I still do. I know that some people don't, but that's very strange if it happens. So yeah, I still have. Oh, wow. Well, actually, she mentioned something like she's afraid that she doesn't, that she wouldn't be enough to her, to her boyfriend, like enough woman to her boyfriend. That's... I feel so bad that she feels this way because it's all about attitude, it's all about your confidence, that's what makes you sexy, please, that is, or you will see a girl with huge breasts but if she's all like insecure and she's not gonna be sexy, so it's all about attitude and confidence. And if your boyfriend doesn't like you that way, yeah. He is not it's not worth it because then what he's only with you because your breast I mean how long um, does the recovery last um, the recovery full recovery I will say like a month and am I wrong saying a month I mean I don't I don't remember spending too long like not being able to move I think it was very quick like two weeks but full recovery, like I say, being able to go to the gym, like a month, at least in my case. My sister, she just went for a, to the nightclub like that a few days, but I'm more chicken on that sense. I like to just take, give my body a time to recover and all of that. The pain, the, the strongest pain you're gonna feel is going to be the first three days that's the strongest pain after that it goes easier and easier um, Maria Alejandra Alvites Rios she she likes to train and she said that I mentioned like in a month I was able to work out so she's scared of to gain weight so she's asking me how I did I naturally stay in the same weight if I don't work out if I work out, I, I my body gets better, but if I don't work out, I just have to keep an eye on, on what I'm eating, like not 
going crazy with food. Bella decides she wants to know. Um, <laughs> she wants to know what does it feel to have big breast. All right, this could seem like a silly question, right? But she has a point. When you, when your breasts are bigger, there are good things and bad things. The good things is that if that, if you always want it and and you feel that that's gonna help you with your uh, self-esteem you're gonna feel better in that sense your clothes is gonna fit much nicer um, at least some of them because you have to be careful if you don't want to seem vulgar there are certain type of clothes that you can use when you have small breasts but you cannot use when you have bigger breasts there are so many dresses and, and tops that I'm like oh my god it's so beautiful and elegant but with huge breasts just doesn't look good. When you have bigger breasts, you look bigger. You look like thicker, um, wider. If you like slim, long bodies, try to keep them small. And if you want your body to look taller, slim, you have to keep everything narrower. The wider you are, this, the shorter you're gonna look. Uh, I know some girls suffer of back pains and it can be uncomfortable sometimes, like if something is on your way, if you're running, if you run, make sure to wear a good bra because that probably is going to hurt or it can be very uncomfortable. So yeah, there are good and bad things about it. For how long you have to wear the orthopedic bra? I wore it for many, many months. I think I just got tired because it's not pretty and just stop you wearing it maybe after almost a year probably 10 months maybe but it's like a sport bra it looks very much like a sports bra but my Lenny Leon is asking me if they hurt when I touch them no nope, they don't hurt at all um, they don't feel super hard at all either they are okay. Uh, Isa Hernandez, she says she just got a surgery like five days ago and one is higher and rounder and the other one is smaller and like lower. If that's normal. I think that's something that a, a doctor can answer better. Um, if, it, if the difference is too obvious I think you have to get them checked with your doctor. If it's just a slight difference, it might be that one breast maybe is getting it has less less uh, liquid, is less um, swallow than the other one, and it, they are just trying to get into pla into place. Five days is too early to see the final results, so it might it can be normal at that time it's been already like a month or two or three then mm, that shouldn't be like that they shouldn't be that different Nuria Rodriguez she's she was telling me that she got a surgery a year ago and because of ca breast cancer but she has suffered a lot because they got infected and then they had to get a reduction and then they had she had to get another surgery so look all these I mean in her case it, it was because breast cancer so it's it's not like vanity like in my case but um I have here a list of symptoms up there from the breast implant um, illness and this is a few of them is one of them is joint and muscle pain I actually I don't feel that I don't I have a problem with my knee but I don't think it's related to that I think it's something else chronic fatigue sometimes I feel very tired but like I say I I couldn't know if it's exactly because of this maybe if when I get them removed and I see to compare I I could know for sure but I mean it, it could be that that day I maybe I I worked too much or I didn't sleep well or something like that. Memory and concentration problems. 
actually I have some of that <laughs> yeah but I don't know breathing problem sometimes I feel short of breath um, a sleep disturbance mm, no rashes and skin problems no dry mouth and dry eyes no anxiety I think everyone suffers of anxiety right now depression mm -hmm, yeah but uh, I don't think it's because uh, breast implants headaches not many I don't actually I don't get many hair loss I used to suffer hair loss but yeah is, I think it's due to hormonal imbalance but breast implant illness I think it also give you hormonal issues it's just all connected and lastly gastrointestinal problems no I think I have no issues like that so this is how they look and what I don't like is how high they look I don't like that because they look like very high here but not not a lot of um, mm, like not a lot of roundness over here so I don't like that they look like too high and actually one is higher than the other one and it's like flat here I don't know I just I just feel that it's not a natural shape I don't like these lines make it look here I don't like this line here it's just just make it look obvious that I have implants I'm very happy I got to do this video because it's very important to research and to know what are you getting into before getting into a surgery remember they are opening your body and it's just like does it really is really worth it I don't know um, there are some things I want to get done of course but getting implants think about it think about it and thank you for watching this video have a safe holidays and see you in my next video.